Kurt, where are you going? Soccer practice? No, look at the rules. Ugh, this again? No leaving the house past 3 p.m., bedtime by 7 p.m., and mowing the lawn every day. I'm so sick of my mom being so controlling. I don't care what she says or what anyone else says. I'm going to soccer practice. Kurt, honey, I need you to clean the toilet right now. Kurt, where are you? Kurt, come back. All right, I've been practicing all day. Just gotta kick this last goal. Ah, oh, man, ankle hurts bad. Oh. Kurt, are you okay? Dude, you're gonna meet a lot of trouble if your parents find out you're hurt. Uh, I think I'm fine. And don't even say that. They're way too controlled. Kurt, uh, Kurt, there you are. We thought you died. Dad, you need to get off the field. Dad, you're embarrassing me. Leave me alone. I'm in the middle of practice. You can't just barge in here like that. This is an active field. He's breaking the rules. Kurt, you need to come home now. Uh, fine. You are in big trouble, young man. You guys never let me do anything. You're always forcing me to do what you want. I don't want to live by these stupid rules. These rules are to protect you, Kurt. You need to learn that. Oh, I don't care about any of this. I just want to be a regular kid. You guys haven't been the same since Eric passed away. That's because we don't want to lose another son. Eric was sick, Dad. There was nothing you could have done. We're trying to make sure you're safe, Kurt. We can't bear to lose you too. I need to live my life, Dad. You can't protect me from everything. Hey, Kurt. Come outside. I have something I want you to see. Mom, what are you doing? I found out you've been sneaking video games into the house. You keep breaking the rules, Mom, Kurt. Mom, no! You're being crazy! I saved up all my money for that! Now you'll have more time to concentrate on school instead of video games. Ugh, I can't believe you! I can. I'll pick you up at exactly 2 p.m. 2 p.m., Kurt! Don't be late! Ugh, okay. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Clearly better than you. Dude, are your parents still on you for sneaking out to soccer practice? Uh, of course they are. I just wish they weren't so protective of everything I do. Well, at least the entire school doesn't know about the soccer incident. Hey, Kurt, is your dad going to drive into the school to pick you up today? Uh, shut up, Kyle. Leave him alone. You're such a loser, Kurt. Always doing what your mommy and daddy tell you. Have fun living life like a stupid idiot. Oh, this sucks. My parents controlling my life is really starting to affect me. Everyone at school seems to know about all the crazy things they're doing. Sometimes I just wish I could get away from it all. It must be hard dealing with parents like that. Ugh, you have no idea. I can barely see any of my friends outside of school because all my parents let me do is chores and homework. My dad thinks he's protecting me, but he doesn't realize he's ruining my life. I miss hanging out with you, man. Yeah, man, I miss it too. Now, let's go before we're late to class. Dang, it's almost 2 p.m. My dad's gonna be waiting for me. I wish I didn't have to go home. Hey, Kurt. Oh, hey, Beth. Uh, nice to see you. Sorry to hear about your soccer practice the other day. Yeah, my dad can be a little crazy sometimes. That's okay. I never knew my parents, so maybe you're lucky to have them. Uh, yeah, maybe. Anyways, I was thinking about going to the mall after school. Do you want to come? Wait, like, just us? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, well, I'm supposed to be getting picked up at 2. Oh, right. The controlling parents. No worries. Forget it. I I'm down to go to the mall. Wait, really? Yeah, we just need to go out the back exit so my dad doesn't see me. <laughs> well, I'm happy that we're finally going to be able to hang out. It is 2.01. Okay. Where is Kurt? Where is he? Ugh, that's it. Oh, man. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm good. I had such a great time with you tonight. I can't remember the last time I got to go out and have fun like this. Why stop here? Maybe we should go out more. <sighs> Trust me, I want to, but my parents just treat me like a baby, even though I'm almost an adult. I mean, that is super annoying, but it's kind of sweet in a way. <sighs> Trust me, Beth, it's definitely not sweet. It could be worse. They could not care about you at all. Yeah, I guess that's true. I just wish I could have a normal relationship with them again. That's a bummer. Maybe they'll come around again. Regardless, I really had a great time too. I really hope we can do this again. Yeah, so do I. Hey, are you Kurt? Uh, yeah, that's me. Why, are you looking for me? You need to come with me right now. You've been reporting missing and your parents have been calling us over and over and over again. It's super annoying. What? I'm not going with you. I'm staying out. Uh, Kurt, what's going on? See, this is what I'm talking about, Beth. I'm just doing my job. You better come with me right now before you get in even more trouble. I said no. Then you leave me no choice. You're under arrest. What? Oh, hey. Oh, I'm sorry, Beth. 
It is your stupid son. Now stop calling us so much. Thank you so much for bringing him home. Yeah, sure, man. Just stop calling us every five minutes. What is wrong with you guys? You are so controlling. You called the cops on me just because I was late? We were worried. You didn't answer your phone. We're just trying to protect you. No, you're just trying to control me. Kurt, we're doing this because we love you. No, Dad, you're doing this because you're grieving Eric and you're ruining my life because of it. Kurt, that is not true. We're just trying to keep you safe. You're suffocating me. I can't even be a normal teenager. We can't bear to lose another child, Kurt. But you're losing me by treating me like this. Kurt, we're just trying to do what's best for you. What's best for me is having a life outside of this house. Friends, fun, normal life experiences. We're just scared, Kurt. We don't want anything to happen to you. Nothing is going to happen to me. Eric had cancer. Me going on a date isn't going to make me sick and die. You guys need to realize that. I'm sorry you feel that way, Kurt, but we want you to have a good life when you're older. And if we can't stop you from making mistakes and getting hurt, it will be good for you. I need to make mistakes to learn, Mom. You can't keep me in a bubble my whole but life. But we can while you live under this roof. That's right, Kurt. You broke the rules. You're grounded. What? Are you serious? It's for your own good. Oh, you just don't get it. We're not done here, Kurt. Yes, we are. Ugh. I hate doing this. This sucks. Hey, Kurt. What's up with the soccer tournament? Hey, Ben. I can't go. I'm grounded for months. What? Man, that really sucks. Team is gonna miss you, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, it's just not fair. I'm almost an adult and they're still treating me like a child. You shouldn't put up with this. You deserve to have a life outside of this house. I know, but there's not much I can do. My parents are just too controlling. Have you tried talking to them about it? Of course I have, but they don't listen. They're just too scared of losing me like they lost Eric. I get that, but you gotta be able to live your own life too, bro. <sighs> I know, I just, I wish they understood that. Kurt, you're breaking the rules again. Having a friend over, you know that's not allowed. I'm just mowing the lawn, Dad. Ben's not even inside the house. Uh, sir, I was just walking by and I saw Kurt outside. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. You need to leave right now, Benjamin. Come on, Dad, he didn't do anything wrong. Kurt, this is not up for discussion. You're grounded and Ben has to leave. All right, Kurt, see you later, man. Yeah, see you later. Now keep mowing the lawn and keep the line straight. Looks like a mess. Hey, Kurt, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, have you been ignoring me or something? No, I'm not ignoring you. I'm grounded. My parents took my phone away. Oh, th that's rough. Well, I am glad that it wasn't something that I did. Also, I can't believe you got arrested last time we hung out. Yeah, no kidding. Just my parents overreacting again. Even the cops were annoyed with them. I'm going to start living a normal life soon. I, I can't take this anymore. I know it's tough, but... But at least you have parents who care about you. I don't even know mine. Oh, man. You're right, Beth. I shouldn't take them for granted. Look, I'm not saying they're perfect, but sometimes it's better to have parents who care too much than not at all. Yeah, that is true. I appreciate you being so cool about it. Well, of course. I'm always here for you, Kurt. Let's go! Now! <sighs> I've gotta go, Beth. My dad's waiting for me. Oh, it's all right. Just remember what I said, okay? It's not all that bad. Yeah, I will. Thanks, Beth. See you later. Janine, we're home. Kurt, we just saw your report card, and you got a B plus? You know we expect straight A's from you. What? How'd you get my report card already? We annoyed the principal enough, and he started sending us to them every single week. This is getting ridiculous. Who cares if I got a B plus and not an A? Um, you should care, Kurt. You won't be a millionaire if you don't get straight A's. You're not a millionaire either. What has gotten into you? Is this because of that Beth girl you've been spending so much time with? How do you know about Beth? We have to know who you're hanging out with, Kurt. Oh, man, you guys are driving me crazy. That's enough, Kurt. You're not going to see Beth anymore. You can't do that. I'm not a child anymore. We're serious, Kurt. It's our job to make sure you succeed in Just life. Just because I don't get an A doesn't mean I won't succeed in We're life. We're doing this for your own good. No, you're doing it for yourselves because you can't let go of what happened to Eric. This isn't about Eric. It's about you. You're granted for another month. Now go to your don't room. Don't you remember how life was before all this happened? We used to be happy. Now you guys are protecting me and ruining our relationship. You see that, Stop right? Stop blaming us, Kurt. You're the one who broke the rules. You guys don't get it. I've had enough of this. <sighs> I can't take this anymore. I need to leave. I'm going to live life my own way. 
can't believe I actually left my parents. Might be mad, but it is their fault. I can't be going off to college never experiencing life. I'm not sure what to do next, though. I could sleep here tonight, or maybe I can go to Ben's house. Hey, man. I'm free. I'm finally free. Hey, kid. Give me your stuff, kid. What? No way. I'm not giving you anything. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for trying to run, kid. Uh, you won't get away with this. <laughs> I sure will. Good luck catching hey, me. Hey, wait, no, come back. Oh, I got away. Dang it. I won't let this ruin my freedom. I just need to figure out my next move. Kurt, what are you doing? Ben, I ran away from home. I need a place to stay. Whoa, really? Huh, come on in, man. Oh, thanks, dude. Are you sure this is the best idea, Kurt? Running away? Hey, anything is better than living with my controlling parents, Ben. I'm just done with them. I can't take it anymore in that house. Well, I mean, it's your home. Hey, what's going on here, boys? Oh, Dad. Uh, Kurt ran away from home and needs a place to stay. Well, really? Well, I understand, Kurt, but you should really go back home. I can't, Mr. Johnson. I won't go back there. I understand that you're going through a tough time, Kurt, but running away isn't the solution. Dad, can't you just stay here for like a little while? Come on. I can't make that decision without talking to your mother, Ben. And Kurt, your parents must be worried sick about you. I'm surprised they haven't called me 20 times by now. They're the ones who pushed me to this point, Mr. Johnson. And I get that. But running away won't solve anything. You need to face the problem and try to work things out with them. Kurt, my dad's right. Maybe there's a better way to handle this. Well, maybe. I just don't know what else to do. You need to call your parents. No way. Please don't call them. Kurt, you're putting me in a bad spot here. Promise me you won't call them. Ugh, fine. I'll go put some pizza rolls in the oven. Dad, someone's at the door. I wonder who this is. Man, it's so cool of your dad to let me stay here. Thank you for everything. Yeah, for real, man. I'm glad it's all working out. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Please, Mr. Johnson, we just want to talk to Kurt. Kurt, someone's at the door for you. I know I promised, Kurt, but- Mr. Johnson, how can you do this? You betrayed me! Kurt, come home with us, now! I'm never coming home. I moved out. Deal with it. You can't just move out with nowhere to go. Do you even care about what is actually good for me? Or do you just care about yourself? Let's be real about this right now. Oh, you want to be real right now, young man? Fine. I am sick of your nonsense. Get home now. I am so sorry, Dad, but I can't do that. I am not going Kurt! back. Kurt, stop running. We just want to talk. Uh, I don't think chasing him will help. We just want what's best for him, Mr. Johnson. We're so afraid of, of losing him, too. I know you are, but maybe it's time to let him make some choices on his own. Fred, maybe we've been a little too hard on him. When will my parents finally get the message? I'm not going back. Well, 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 look who it is. You again? Hey, give me my stuff back. You really think I still have it? Huh, I pawned that off weeks ago. Well, whatever. I don't have anything left for you to take. I can see that. Run away from home again, huh? You're starting off just like me. <laughs> Ugh, I don't want to be anything like you. You're already on that path, kid. But trust me, it's not all that it's cracked up to be. Why should I trust you? You stole my stuff. I never had parents who cared about me like yours do. It's a shame you don't appreciate it. Back off. You don't know anything about me. Shut up, kid. I don't really care about you either. I'm just telling you how it is. Well, don't. I see you over there, Vinny. Oh, man. I gotta get out of here. Hey, wait. Give me my stuff back, you jerk. And you. There you are. Kurt, get in the car. Your parents are worried sick. Oh, no. Come on. Please. I don't want to go home. You have no choice, kid. Your parents are the most annoying people on the planet. If they call me again because you're not home, I'm just going to arrest you and throw you in jail. I can't deal with this anymore. <sighs> okay, fine. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, this is the last time I better be dropping him off. You need to figure this out because we can't keep picking him up. He's going to be 18 very soon. We know, officer. We appreciate all your help. Oh, uh, yeah. Ugh. Can we talk about this? <sighs> yes, we need to. We never wanted things to be like this, Kurt. 
We know we've been a little strict. We just don't want to lose you too. I know, but you don't realize you're pushing me away. I never meant to hurt you, Kurt. We just wanted to protect you. I understand, but I can't live like this anymore. I need some freedom. We don't want to lose you, but we understand that we need to give you some space. We will loosen up on some things, but you have to promise that you won't break the other rules. Oh, I, I promise. Thank you, thank you both so much for understanding. We just want you to be happy, Kurt. We trust you to make the right decisions. I mean, we raised you right after all. Oh yeah, yeah you did. I, I won't let you down. It's so amazing that you're here with me right now. I know, it, it feels great to be out. My parents haven't bothered me once today. So, what's next on your new profound freedom list? Tomorrow, I'm finally gonna get my driver's license. I wasn't allowed to get one before because driving was too dangerous for them. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. It's great that you and your parents worked out your differences. I wanna thank you, Beth, for talking about your parents. You really gave me an insight into my own relationship with mine. Well, I'm happy to help you. We all need someone to talk to. Yeah. You're a great friend, Beth. Oh, don't get too sappy on me. I'm about to beat you in another game. <laughs> oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Yo, Ben! Dude, you finally got your license? No way! Yes way, man! Come on, we're going for a ride! Oh, sweet! Dude, isn't this car sick? Man, this is awesome. Now we can go literally wherever we want. Maybe we should go get burgers or something. Yeah, that sounds great. Kurt, watch out! Are you guys okay? I'm hurt, but uh, my friend Ben seems okay. Yo, yo, I'm fine, but Kurt needs help. Well, luckily I'm here, and we need to call your parents. What? Oh no, please don't. They'll be so mad. We, uh, we just started getting along again. I'm sorry, but we got no choice. You're not 18 yet. No, no, dude, please don't do this to me. For your own good, kid, trust me. Uh, this is not good. There he is! This is exactly why we didn't want you to do all of these things! We were so scared something like this would happen to you! And look! We were right! Listen, guys, it's fine. I need to be able to make my own choices. This accident could have happened to anyone. But it happened to you. We can't let you get hurt right before you graduate. It wasn't even my fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it was, Kurt. You're our son and we have to protect you. But I can't live my life in a bubble, Dad. I need to experience things and learn from them. We understand that, but we can't bear the thought of losing you, too. From now on, we're going to be more controlling again. More than ever! It's for your own good! No, Dad! This isn't fair! I've proven that I can handle more freedom! We know, but we can't take any more chances, Kurt! This isn't a way to protect me! It's just suffocating Kurt, me! Kurt, your mother and I have made our decision! We love you and want what's best for you, but we can't let this happen ever again! Man, you guys lied to me. Typical. Can't believe this! Yo, dude. Are you feeling okay? No, I'm feeling terrible. My parents are super controlling again, and I can't do anything about it. It's the worst case scenario. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That really sucks. You! You're a bad influence on my son! This accident is your fault! Dad, stop being a jerk! Ben didn't cause the accident! I don't want you hanging out with my son anymore! Get off my property! Go! Go on, get! Ben, I'll go! I'm sorry, Kurt! You didn't have to do that! Ben's my friend! I'm just trying to protect you, Kurt! Well, you're not doing a very good job! You're just making everything worse! I'm just trying to do what's best! Kurt, this letter came for you. Oh, really? For me? Oh, man, I've been waiting for this. What? W what, what does the letter say? I got accepted into college. I'm actually going to university. That's fantastic, son. Which college? It's Roblox University. Oh, man, I can't wait to go. Wait, Roblox University? Isn't that a few states away? Yeah, it's right near the ocean. Oh, man. I bet that view will be great. No, no, no. That is too far away. You can't go there. What do you mean I can't go? I worked hard to get accepted. I I'm going. All right, let's just talk about this, okay? This is a big, big decision. It is my future, and it's my decision. I'm going to Roblox University. We're happy for you, but we just don't want you to be so far away. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. You can't go to that school. You you have to pick a different one. Ugh, this is my future we're talking about. I want to do what's best for me. Look, we know this pizza isn't the healthiest, but it's your birthday, so enjoy! You're 18 now, Kurt. You can make some decisions on your own. But remember, we're still here for guidance. Right. Uh, speaking of decisions, I made a choice about college. Oh, we know. You're going to that community college here in town, right? <sighs> no, 
I'm going to Roblox University. I've already decided. We told you you can't go there. It's too far away. Well, Dad, I'm 18 now. I'm moving out this week, and I'm going to Roblox University. You can't be serious, Kurt. You're not moving out. You're staying here and going to community college like we planned. I'm 18. I can make my own decisions. I'm going to Roblox University, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Dean, I am getting furious, and I'm going to cause a scene. All right, let's go. I can't believe you're really doing this, Kurt. Feels like we're losing another son. <sighs> Dad, I'm not Eric. I'm still your son, but you need to stop guilting me. Eric died from cancer, and there's nothing anyone could have done to control that. We just wanted what's best for you, Kurt. You're being so selfish, only thinking of yourself. You know what? Maybe I have to be selfish sometimes. I'm glad I'm moving out. Maybe it's best you don't come back for a while. I'll just finish loading up the truck. Good, I was getting sick of this anyways. I can't believe I'm finally free from my parents. I don't ever have to see them again. Hey, hey, I get that you don't want to be controlled by them, but remember, I'd give anything to see my parents again. You don't understand what it's like living with them, Beth. Hey, you're right, I never will, but maybe one day you'll realize what it's like to live without parents at all. Uh, it's a wrong number. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. Let's just enjoy our new freedom, okay? Okay, let's go check out these clubs over here. Dude, Samantha's like the prettiest girl in my algebra class. I think I'm gonna ask her out. Yeah, man, you should. Oh, this is awesome. I haven't been to a party in years. I have to admit, it's been pretty awesome to hang out all the time, too. I'm glad we went to school together. Yeah, same here, man. This has been a dream. Why? No old farts allowed! Uh, whose smelly old parents are here? They're totally killing the vibe. Oh, no, please tell me those aren't my parents. Yo, sorry, dude. It's definitely them. Oh, jeez. Hold on a minute. What are you guys doing here? Hi, honey. We came to check on you. And we're glad we did. Clearly, Ben is still a bad influence. You should be studying right now in your dorm room. You need to leave right now. We just want to make sure you're doing well and succeeding. I'm doing perfectly fine. See? You need to let me live my life. This is what we get for traveling all the way to see you? Not even a hello, mom. Hi, dad. Thanks for raising me. I can't believe this. You should really apologize to your father. No, I'm not going to apologize to him. Just leave, Mom. You know what? Fine. Oh, man, finally. University. Oh, it feels good to actually have some freedom away from my parents. Another phone call from Dad? I think I'll just pretend I didn't see that. Does anyone know the answer? Uh, yeah, sir, I do. Eagles MC Square. <laughs> this is so much fun. We have to come back here again. <laughs> totally. Oh my goodness, they never leave me alone. Why have you been ignoring them? I, I don't know. I, I just want to live my life without them constantly breathing down my neck. And look, see, it's them again. Maybe I should answer it. What? No, no, this is ridiculous. I'm just going to shut my phone off. I know it sounds mean, but I can't have them bothering me every two seconds. I even got in trouble in class the other day because of it. Well, maybe we can get some coffee and that will cheer you up. Yeah, you know, I, I'd like that. So, Ben, we have some news we want to tell you. That you guys are dating? <laughs> yeah, we are. Finally decided to make it official, huh? Took him long enough. I mean, it's kind of obvious you guys hang out all the time. Dude, are you going to answer that? What? No, I'm not. This is literally the 30th phone call today. Oh, dude, that sucks, man. It's like spam calls. But worse, because it's your parents. Yeah, I know, but I'm doing well in school, and I have you guys. I don't want any distractions. Well, just know that we're always here for you. Kurt, we've been trying to call you. Uh, yeah, I saw. What do you want? Why are you here? I knew it. It was these two that made you not call us. Why would you hang out with such losers, Kurt? Oh, you mean my best friend and my girlfriend? We don't want you around these people. They've been... A bad influence your entire life. You can't control who I hang out with. I love them, and they're staying in my life. You're endangering yourself by being with them. That's ridiculous. I'm doing well in school, and I'm happy. You can't take that away from me. Like I've said a hundred times, we just want what's best for you. Well, then, Mom, for a hundred times, what's best for me is being with people I care about. And clearly, that's not us. Come on, Janine. Let's go. I'm going to lose it again. I can't believe this. Are you okay, man? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just glad I have you guys. It'll be okay. We're here for you. 
So, how have you been feeling lately? I mean, with not hearing from your parents at all. <sighs> Honestly, it's been weird. They were always controlling, but now they're, they're not calling and I kind of miss them. Yeah, I mean, I can understand that. And like I said before, at least they care. It might be a lot, but I know they genuinely love you and they want what's best for you. Uh, I'm sure they do. I'm sure this is hurting them a lot too, but the boundaries are healthy, you know? You're definitely right about that, but maybe try to see it from their side, and it wouldn't hurt to go see them ever so often. I think I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to pay them a surprise visit. I think that'll be good, and you'll feel better about it. You know, maybe it'll make your relationship stronger. You never know. Mom, Dad, are you guys home? Kurt, what are you doing here? I haven't heard from you guys. I, I just wanted to come and say hi. Where's Dad? Oh, he's out. What's going on? Well, um, I've been thinking a lot about everything, and I hate that we don't talk anymore. I miss you guys, and I want to make things right. That's good to hear. We've missed you too. Um, I have something to tell you while you're here. Uh, yeah, sure. What's up? Listen, Kurt, um, your father isn't doing so well. He, he didn't want me to tell you, but I think it's important that you should know. He's been sick, and he's realized that he won't always be here to take care of you, so he decided to respect your wishes and not contact you anymore. That's sick? I had no idea. Mom, you, you know that this isn't what I meant by wanting space, right? I always want you guys in my life. I just didn't want you controlling it. I know, and we messed up, too. I need to go talk to Dad. I'll be back later so we can all talk about this. I love you, Mom. I love you, too, Kurt. Dad's gotta be here. This is his usual spot. Hey, d Dad! Kurt? What are you doing here? I just- I just wanted to come by. Y you guys haven't called in a while. That's what you wanted, so- I didn't want you guys to disappear on me, though. Look, Dad, Mom told me you're sick. Why didn't you tell me? She told you? Ugh, I was hurt. I was hurt that you abandoned me. I didn't abandon you. I just needed to live my own life. It doesn't mean I want you guys out of it. Why are you constantly guilt-tripping me? Look, uh, I'm sorry, okay? You were right. It was hard for me to get over what happened to your brother. And I was so afraid of losing you. I tried to control everything and made it worse. I'm so happy to hear you say that. <coughs> oh. oh, no! Oh! Dad? Dad, are you okay? 911? I need an ambulance right away! Come on, Dad. It's gonna be okay. Oh, great. Are you his son? Yes, doctor. Please. What's wrong with my dad? Your dad needs a kidney transplant, like now, or he's gonna die. I will give him my kidney if he needs one. It does look like you're a match. This is really risky. Are you sure you wanna do this? I'm 100% sure. Please, save my dad. But Kurt, that was so risky. It's okay to take a little risk sometimes, dad. Especially if it helps the ones you love. Come on, let's go home.